myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing right in front of me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be Let it be This is a famous architect who does famous stuff. He's, I mean, I've met him several times on historical things, and I brought him to look at this cabin. And he said, why don't you just cut a log off? So my brother-in-law and I cut a log off, and I sent it down to Logan and had it dated. But the dates didn't coincide with peg legs. They're a little different, so it's not peg legs, but it is an early cabin. Renee's father told me about it, it was remodeled in, in 1936 when he bought this place. It, they used it as a tack. His, his father-in-law used it as a tack room. And, but it's, uh, so it's an old, old, old structure been here for a long time. There's my, the first truck we ever bought, my eldest son. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You didn't keep old, very long. Uh, walk over and get a picture of that. It's a, it's not, it's a six cylinder, but it's a slant six, it's like this. Yeah. <laughs> when, when Wade got rid of it, her father loved it so much because he helped me buy it. Roscoe went with me to buy this old truck out in Chevick. And Wade hated it. <laughs> Wade kept it a couple months and then he bought a nice cherry red international, what was it? But Roscoe wouldn't let this go, so he brought it home, and he redid the engine, put new rings and all that kind of stuff in it, and rebuilt it, and, and it ran like a clock. And that last time they parked it, it was still running and going well. I had to feed, get grain for to feed the chickens in that round gra tin granary. And it was just full of mice running up and down. The grain would fall down and the mice would come with them and it scared me to death. And that's where my fear came from. That plus Garth used to chase me. He said he had a mouse in his hand and he was going to put it down in the back of my shirt. So he also marked me <laughs> fear of mice. This was this Roscoe's little hideout in here. He had things in here. He kept the bottle of whiskey in there, and I we don't think that was even here when Dad was. Yeah, it was because <laughs> I've been in there with him and sampled the whiskey before. With I'm learning something new. <laughs> they they would put their garden back in here, around back behind that back behind that shed because they could easily irrigate it out of the ditch here. This this, this irrigation system is called the peg leg canal system. So it's all named after Peg Lake. Of course it comes out of the Bear River way up there. But I came out one day and I had four big garbage bags full of this rhubarb I cut to take back to Pocatello to my friends. And Dad looked at it cut a piece off and they were weeds. The insides were hollow. Kind of a milkweed. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> The front of it's got forks and they push it on with push rakes and then Renee would drive pull up so it would pull that thing up in the air and it would throw the hay up over onto the stack. And you had to know just when to so stop. So she, she grew up as a pull up driver and then in, she'd drive it over to Geneva without any brakes. I saw a canyon. They would hay for Roscoe's father over in Geneva and Renee would go over there and drive pull up for him. She was a farm girl when she grew up, but once she grew up, that was the end of her farm girl. <laughs> she doesn't like the farm anymore. The Grove, this is called the Grove. But this used to be the county road. The county road came right down here, across here, and out through there, and went across the river right there. There was a ford where the old 
Dingle Ford were they used before the bridges. And that, I think, is what was called Peg Legs Ford. I didn't call it that. It was called that in the old county minutes that I found. It was called Peg Legs Ford. Dingle, Peg Legs Ford, to Preston. This was called Preston. Montpelier and Bennington. That was one of the first roads authorized by the county when they moved in here in 1864, the first pioneers when they came here. So that's in their minutes. And when I first dated Renee, this road used to be fenced down along there. And I asked her father one day, I said, how come this fence is down there? He says, well, that's the county road. And I said, the county road to what? And he said, to the Ford on the river. So I knew it was the Ford. And I had to put all that stuff together with Peg Leg. Because Peg, we knew Peg Leg's trading post was right here someplace, but exactly the spot. My dad used to find old metal irons when he was digging like uh, post holes. Some of the wagons they used would come to warm off the on side. the uh, stoves to iron with. One of these trees tipped over here, and in the roots of the tree, <clears throat> we found an old knife, an old knife that had been there for I don't know how long, a hundred years, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> down through those trees and you come out, we used to call it the flat. It's a huge area with no trees, surrounded by trees. And we'd all bring our friends out, build a big bonfire and play games like Run Sheepy Run and Kick the Can. Probably never heard of any of those. <laughs> Weenie Roast and it was fun. And we did that quite often. My parents were very patient. Take me home down country road. And 
all my <laughs> You ready for Christmas? Yeah. Gather round her, a miner's lady, a stranger to blue water, dark and dusty. Patricia <laughs> came down here, built them a raft, and they were floating around on the, in, around here on the, the raft. On the other side of that tree is the bear. West Virginia, a mountain mama, darling, take me home. Don't country roads, darling, take me home. Don't country roads.